Hi, my name is Rachel Flores and a scam or warning that I'm going to be talking about that would keep consumers educated, informed and alert would be SMS phishing. SMS phishing is basically when you receive text messages from your phone that try to lure you into giving out your financial information. These scammers also do this so they can hack into your phones and install malware. This is a type of cybersecurity attack that could also have links in the message that lead to fake sites that also request sensitive personal information as well. These scammers usually say that you could buy things, win money, or get in a raffle for fake charities that don't even exist. As a result, victims are tricked into downloading viruses and malware on their phone. The way that SMS phishing works is through deception and fraud. These types of scammers try to manipulate a victim's decision making in a threefold act, including one, trust, two, context, and three, emotion. Through trust, these scammers try to post as legitimate individuals and organizations. These cyber criminals love their target skepticism, so they use SMS text as a more personal communication channel that naturally lowers a person's defenses against threat. Next, these scammers use context. These SMS phishing scammers can make up situations that are relevant to targets that allow an attacker to build an effective disguise. They try to make the message feel personalized, which helps it override any suspicion that it might be a scam. Thirdly, they use emotion by hiding any target's emotions. The attacker can override their target's critical thinking and spur them into rapid action. Using these methods, these scammers write messages that will try to get a recipient to take action and then scammers steal their money or hack into them after that. The step-by-steps the attacker or the SMS phishing attacker will carry out are through a few key phases, which is first distribution, two compromising, and three execution. Distribution by sending out the text messages, the bait to target to targets, and then compromising the victim's information via deception or fraud. And then execution of the desired theft using the victim's compromised information that they gave them. The ways to spot these scammers using SMS phishing is the when they contact you out of the blue. They could also claim that there is an emergency. These scammers also ask for personal information about you that could be bank information or your social security number. These scammers also ask for usernames and passwords you have as well. Not only that, but these scammers want you to wire money so they could also tell you it is a secret and not to tell anyone. Not only that, but these scammers make it sound too good to be true as well. Financial institutions will never send a te- text asking for credentials or transfer of money, so keep that into consideration as well. However, that being said, there are ways to protect yourself from the SMS phishing attacks. First off, anything that demands you to act quickly or with a sense of urgency should be ignored. Two, never click on links embedded inside the text messages. Three, check the numbers that send, that send, that send you the message asking for information or the message that sends a link for you to click on. If it looks suspicious, it most, might, is most likely is a SMS phishing attack. Number four, never keep your banking or credit card information on your phone. Malware could be used to access it. Number five, if you do not know who is texting you, do not reply to the message or click anything inside it. Six, report SMS phishing attempts to the Federal Communication Commission's FCC to help other potential victims. Number seven, do not respond to request to change or update account information via text message. And then number eight, do not ever send credit card numbers, ATMs, pins, or bank information to someone in text messages. Number of number nine, avoid responding to a phone number that you don't recognize. Ten messages received from a number with only a few digits probably came from an email address, which is also a sign of an SMS phishing spam, scam and spam. Number 11, telecoms off, telecoms offer numbers to report attacks to protect others and yourself. Send the messages to your telecoms number so that it can be investigated. The FCC also takes complaints and investigates text message scams. Therefore, describing how SMS phishing is really dangerous and how us as consumers can be educated, informed, and alert of this issue if it ever happens to us in our personal lives. Thank you. I hope you guys enjoyed my presentation. Ha, <laughs>